Hey guys, do you already have some cool approach to code architecture in Unity? Alchemybow.core is a free framework that you can use to take your projects to a whole new level in an easy, scalable and consistent way. But what does it do exactly? It provides tools to help you solve common development problems, complex loading, dependency management and application state management. For all these elements I will release dedicated videos. But in this one, let's focus on setting up the framework and some simple example of how to use it. Let's start with the installation. Open the documentation page and copy the link to the latest version of the framework from the manual installation section. Then, in your Unity project, open the package manager. Click the plus button and use the from git URL option to download the package. Now, you can use the quick start window to create an initial setup. So, click window, alchemy bow, core, quick start core. The wizard allows you to quickly create core project context that is used to store shared dependencies and the core controller that is a scene scope handle of the framework. Feel free to modify the default names, but make sure the create controls are toggled. When you're finished, click create and wait for Unity. Also, save the scene, because there is a new object that we will need in a moment. Now, when everything is set up, we can add some actual scripts to the project. Let's start with a simple player. It will be a green square that we can control with our keys. So, an ordinary implementation could look like this. However, the framework also supports loading, so ideally the player should respect that. There are a few options, but the most independent one is to implement iLoading callbacks handler. As the names of the methods suggest, we can use it to handle loading finished and scene change started events. In our case, let's use them to enable and disable mono behavior update. For this to work, we need to notify the framework about the handler, and to do so, we can use a class derived from the mono installer. Let's use the install bindings method to add the player instance to the so-called dynamic list binding of iLoading callbacks handlers. In the editor, let's add the player and player installer to the player game object. Then, make sure the player is disabled and drag the installer to the core controller, which is the object that appeared earlier in the active scene. We can hit the play button and make sure it works. Now, let's add an enemy. We want it to be a red square that chases the player. So, this time the ordinary implementation can look like this. Or, if we add the iLoading callbacks handler, like this. But there is one more thing. Instead of dragging the player to the serialized field, we want to inject it. To do so, we need to replace the serialized field attribute with the inject attribute and add the injection target attribute to the class. And, since it works, we can also make the field read-only. Next, we need to update the installers. Since the enemy requires the player, we need to expose it. So, in the player installer, we should bind the player instance to the player type, or shorter. The enemy installer may look almost the same, but there is no script that needs to reference the enemy instance. We still need to bind it to tell the framework that it should inject dependencies there, but we can do it without a key to avoid unnecessary exposure. Let's add the enemy scripts, disable the enemy and drag the installer to the core controller. Voila, it works! The cool thing we can test right now is what happens if we unlink the player installer. As soon as we click the play button, we will get an error. This feature is an extreme time saver, especially on large-scale projects, where silly missing references can cost hours of build time. In the future videos, I will focus on the details, other features and explain why they make your projects so cool. So, see you in the next one. All the links in the bio, please like, subscribe and consider watching my video about an alternative to singletons.